Okay, so I did a recent video on Rasp EX, uh, and that had uh, a different package installer to the normal one that you use on Raspbian. And this is Raspbian uh, running through Barry Boot, uh, and I've got another video on Barry Boot if you want to see how that works, and it's running from an SSD. But the normal way that you add and remove software uh, would be like this in Raspbian. Uh, which works fine, but it doesn't really tell you a lot about various different apps. There's no picture or anything, um, and so you've really got to search through, and there's loads and loads of stuff in there. But the different package manager, uh, which actually can be installed from AdRemove software, uh, and it's called Synaptic. So if you type in Synaptic, use a package manager to install a package manager. There you go, you can see that it comes up, uh, that's the synaptic one, so you would tick that, click apply, and that would install. I've obviously already done it, and it's down on my dock. Pop in the password, which I haven't changed, so it's still Raspberry. And this is how it comes up. So if I do the same sort of thing and search for games, there you go, so games and amusement, uh, and say, for instance, I do a search, let's say Tetris, because there'll probably be a few. So as you can see, it comes up, but we can't really tell much about it. Uh, but if we click on it, it tells you a little bit about it. But one little thing that I really like is the get screenshot. Uh, and so you can see that's how your Tetris is going to look in this instance. Well, let's have a look at another one. There you go, more basic 3D Tetris. Now it'd be nice, and I don't know if you can do this, but it would be nice if it came up with this picture uh, in the bottom portion anyway as you click on it. Um, but also there's loads and loads of things you can change on here about what you're searching for um, and uh, various different attributes that you can search for so you can really sort of hone it down. But if I was to, say for instance I was to, um, let's just try one more. Right, let's just install this one. So if I click on it, mark for installation, and then mark. Now if I go up to apply, it tells me what it's gonna install, so I hit apply. And I've found that everything I've applied uh, and installed with this, everything has worked. So, uh, and I usually get that to that message. Let's close that down and let's find this new one that's up here. So uh, it's not there. <laughs> oh, is it blocks? Of, was it blocks of the undead? Yeah, it must have been. Uh, so as you can see, that launches. And if I want to store it on my dock, I can keep it in my dock. Press any key to start the game. Oh, mouse controlled. I wonder what. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, what am I supposed to do? That. Oh, that's a weird uh, concept. So you're moving the blocks together. Okay, so anyway, this wasn't the purpose of this game. If I was going to uninstall that, I can now go up. I can, I don't know if you can do this without having to put in your password. So if I do the same thing again and uh, just type in Tetris and search, you see that it comes up. Now I don't know if you have to, uh, so I put mark for removal. I don't know if you have to tick on both. Uh, but mark for remove, I'll, I'll tick on both. I haven't really played around with this enough yet. Uh, hit apply and apply. And then it goes ahead and uninstalls it. Now the other thing I was trying, uh, which you've probably seen in the video already, is, is the dock at the bottom. Uh, I really like uh, either Mac OS or Chrome OS, the way that when you launch a program, it comes up. Uh, or it's it's on the bottom of the screen in the dock, and you can see here which ones are launched. So if I if I do two, you can see there's two little tiny dots right at the bottom of the screen. Hopefully it will show up in my screen capture. 
Uh, so this dock is called Plank. Uh, and I've got a couple of docks in it because I've been playing around with docks. Uh, but I just prefer the look uh, of having a dock down the bottom, especially for the things I use most. Uh, so that's Plank. It's a little bit configurable, but it's the, what I like about it is it's, is it's very small and light. It's, uh, it's really minimal. There is another one, uh, which is, I don't know what happens if I try and do these two at the same time, Cairo Dock. Am I going to have two docks now? <laughs> I don't know what it's doing now. Right, let's restart. Uh, because what one thing I wanted to show you, well, I'll tell you after I restart. So this is how it restarts with Barry Boots. So I'll say enter to start up my Raspbian. There you go. So it comes up. So if I move my mouse out of the way, you can see I've got no icons at all on the screen. Uh, and I, I just think it's quite a nice look. But there's no dock. So if I go up to the top, and uh, so if I wanted under accessories, if I wanted plank, then I could click on that. Uh, but I want to use uh, or show that Cairo dock this time. So this is Cairo dock, which has uh, quite a nice dynamic feel to it. It probably uses a bit more system resources. But there is, if I, if I right click on this, uh, there is a Cairo dock menu. And you can say launch Cairo dock on startup. Well, I tried that numerous times and I followed a few different tutorials. I couldn't find a way of doing it. So hopefully someone who's watching this will know a way of adding it and getting it that it starts up. I don't mind if it's Cairo Dock. I think I prefer Plank just because it doesn't have any sort of transitions or movement or anything. And I think that it probably uses less system resources. I could be wrong. Uh, but either of these, I would be happy if they started uh, when, you, when you start the computer because I, I actually quite like the way this looks. Uh, and I like having my most used things in the bottom. But anyway, so I hope this helps. Uh, the next video I was going to show, can I actually, can I close Kyra Dock? Oh yeah, so if I quit Kyra Dock and go back into System Tools, uh, or Accessories and Plank. So my next video is going to be covering uh, some Linux games. and I've got five Linux games which I've played around with. I went through on Synaptic uh, to search for them and it was just an easier way because of the, the images that come up and everything. And I've installed them, played around with loads of games and these are the top five that I ended up with uh, and it's top five that I haven't tried before. Uh, so, uh, so I'll show that in another video. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.